Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I missed last week's upload, but I was away from my brother's college graduation. I'm so glad I was able to see him walk. But I think you'll forgive me when you watch this exciting game. That was recorded a few weeks ago when I attended MTG Las Vegas. This game was recorded by Playing With Power, another awesome CEDH YouTube channel. And I had the pleasure of facing off against Cal for this match. It was awesome getting some in-person magic going, and I can't wait for everything to settle down so we can have events like this return in full. Also, Dead on Board will be taking a little break over the New Year's, but we'll be returning sometime in January for some more sweet gameplays. And if you want to stay in the know for the future, follow us on Twitter. I made sure one of my New Year's resolutions was to be more active there. Also, if you're interested in playing with us, hop on our Discord, we have an ever-growing community and would love to talk MTG or whatever strikes our fantasy. And another benefit is we often let people know when we play and would love to meet some new people. All right, block there, kill that. Oh, that is trample. Guess I'm just dead on board. Starting us off is Cal and Rushmi. This is a Simic Controllist that aims to cast interaction on his opponent's turn to gain an insane amount of value. And what can you say when all your counter magic draws you cards? I definitely know the dread this deck can provide when you realize the table already lost about 5 turns ago, and Rushmi is still holding a grip of counter magic and other interaction. Next up is Ben, piloting Corvold, killer of Dockside. No longer is he just a food chain deck, this version is all about Dockside, and just not casting him, but sacrificing and reanimating him. And what better way than feeding him to a dragon? This is another Turbo Nas list that is fast and can end the games very quickly, even without Ad Nas, by just casting Corvold and beating face. This is definitely another deck you need to be careful about. In the third slot, we have Goto. I do apologize to whoever was playing this. I cannot for the love of me remember your name, but if you happen to see this, please let me know. But getting back to scary decks, Goto has to be on the top of the list, just for the inevitability has all you need to do is count to 11 and you win and while not being in blue that doesn't mean they don't have plenty of ways of stopping their opponents till they get the mana they need and bringing up the rear we have hidden planet x and there's no way he wouldn't have brought riel to such an event this is an is it discard matters deck that uses riel's ability to net positive on cards such as faith is looting to dig deep and assemble an underworld breach combo but if the deck looks interesting we did a deck tech on it, cough cough, link in the corner. But without further ado, let's get on to the gameplay. Please note, Cal did mulligan to 5 and Ben had to go to 3. Cal starts it off with a windswept heath, cracking it for a tropical island and using it for a mystic remora. Feed it, please dear God. <laughs> ben has a scalding turn, but doesn't feed the fish and hands it over. Yodo plays a Cavern of Souls and names humans. Hidden likes his opening as he plays a Command Tower and casts a Ragavan. Cal untaps and pays for his fish. He has an island, but hands it to Ben, who at his end step cracks his Scalding Tarn for a tap Blood Crypt. Ben untaps and plays an untapped Undergrowth Stadium. Yodo has an Urza Saga as land and decides to hold off another turn due to the Mystic Remora. Hidden has an island and heads to combat. He sends the Ragavan at Ben, who takes the hit and the table hopes the monkey will exile the Dockside. But he's not that lucky, as Ben exiles a red elemental blast, and Hidden gets a treasure. There is a line that he could have cast the blast to destroy the fish, but instead Hidden uses his treasure to cast his commander Riel. Cal untaps and is still short on cards as he pays for the fish. He doesn't like it, but he needs to hit his land drops as he plays a tap Mystic Sanctuary as land. And though is the real one struggling, as due to his aggressive mulliganing, he draws but doesn't have anything else and passes. Yodo draws and gets another counter on his saga. He plays a Mouth of Ronin as land and decides he can't hold back any longer as he casts a Lotus Petal, giving Cal his first card draw off the fish and continues as he plays a Karn the Great Creator. Cal gets a second card and a hitting groans as his monkey doesn't look so great right now. Karn then upticks and Goto is done after that. 
Hidden plays another basic island and heads to combat. The monkey is still aiming for the dog side and heads at Ben. Who takes a hit and exiles an eternal witness off the top. Hidden does just want to leave his mana open though and hands it to Cal. Cal untaps and lets his fish die. He quickly plays a flooded grove and taps out to cast Rush Me. This is the opportunity Hidden was looking for as he responds with a red elemental blast to counter the commander. Hidden didn't think you'd get too much more use out of it seeing as Cal is the only other blue player on the table. Ben draws and while he doesn't find a land, he is able to cast an Elves of Deep Shadow. Goto draws and responding to the third counter on a saga makes a construct before sacrificing it to search out a mana crypt. He then plays a snow covered mountain as land and ends his turn upticking Karn to kill Hidden's inactive treasure. Hidden starts off with combat and sends the monkey at Cal this time. Ragavan connects and Hidden gains another treasure and Cal exiles a land off the top. Unfortunately, Ragavan only lets you cast spells, so Hidden on his second main casts a careful study. Goto though doesn't like all this value and tries the Pyroblast Riel in response. But needing his commander, Hidden fires back with a Swan Song to counter the Pyro. And finally draw and discard two off the study. This then triggers Riel to draw an additional two, and he ends his turn with a Cephalid Colosseum as land. Cal starts off with a Sylvan Library, and follows it with a preordain. He bottoms both cards and draws his mystery third card, but hands it over to Ben. Ben draws and finds an Arid Mesa off of the top. He cracks it for a land that is bad and then taps his mana and exiles an Elvish Spirit Guide to cast a Culling Ritual. Hidden is fine with it, but Cal does not want to lose his library, so he miscasts it. Goto untaps and wins his Crypt Trigger. He then plays a Crystal Veins off the top. He doesn't have the 11 needed to win, but still taps out to cast Goto. Goto resolves, and on ETB he finds a Hammer of Nizan, which also on ETB auto equips to his commander. He then finishes his turn again, uptaking Karn to kill Hidden's treasure. Hidden goes to his turn and plays another basic island. It looks like he found his own Mystic Remora and after it resolves he casts a frenetic search drawing two discarding two and untapping three lands with riel triggering to draw an additional two hidden doesn't like what's in his hand though and wants an answer to goto as he merchant scrolls he thinks goto might already have the helm in hand and settles on a submerge before heading to combat and sending ragavan and riel at ben who takes a hit and exiles a chromox off the top which Hidden does cast, but doesn't imprint anything. Cal untaps and looks at the top 3 with his library trigger. He takes 8 to keep the extra cards and plays a polluted delta as land. He then cracks the fetch for an island and plays a jeweled lotus. He can't use the lotus and instead casts his backup commander in the form of a wave break hippocamp. And at this point Hidden realizes he need to draw off his fish, but Cal is done after that. Ben draws and finds another land off the top as he plays a Forbidden Orchard. He's excited as this lets him tap out for his big daddy dragon Corvold. Ben does give his spirit token to Cal and on ETB sacrifices the orchard to Corvold to draw and gain a counter. Yoto untaps and wins another mana crypt trigger. He starts off with a twin flame targeting Goto. He does give Hidden a draw off the fish. But not having a good response to this, Hidden then activates his Cephalid Coliseum to draw and discard 3. Drawing an additional 3 off Riel. Hidden was worried Goto might have a dual caster mage, but decides he still needs to respond as he casts a Submerge for free. This puts Goto on top of his library and fizzles the spell. This luckily does stop Goto from going off and he follows it up by upticking Karn to kill Hidden's treasure and ends his turn with a Thran Dynamo, giving another card to Hidden. Hidden decides to pay for his fish and plays a Volcanic Island. He then plays a Mox Diamond, and even though it can't tap for mana right now, this does let him discard a Scalding Tarn to trigger Riel and draw a card. Hidden then proceeds to combat and swings Riel at Cam for 9, who chumps with a Spirit Token. On his second maid, Hidden having more than 7 cards decides to just cast Brain Freeze on Goto for 6 cards. 
This not only mills the commander off his top of the library, but Hidden also hopefully wants to hit the helm if it's still in his library. Hidden then moves to his discard and discards a Wheel of Fortune due to hand size. Camon taps and Sylvans. He takes another 8 to keep 2 more cards. He starts off with a Brainstorm, giving another card to Hidden. He then draws 3 and puts 2 back before playing a Yavamaya Kosa's land. He then taps 3 for Aristic Study. He gives another card to Hidden, but Hidden doesn't like the study and Force of Wills it, exiling a Windfall. Cal doesn't want to fight it, seeing as Goto is still very much a threat, and he's done after that. Ben untaps and casts a spicy new include, Grim Hireling. He then proceeds to combat and sends Corval at Karn. And on attack, he sacrifices the elf to Corval to draw and gain another counter. The dragon is then promptly chumped by a swan token, and Ben ends his turn playing a taiga. Goto untaps and wins yet another crypt trigger. He starts counting his mana and upticks Karn again to kill Hidden's Mox Diamond. There is a slight gap in the footage, but Goto then casts a Seething Song and gives another card to Hidden. He then uses 3 of his 5 floating red to cast a Blood Moon. This prompts Ben to float a green in response and gives Hidden another card off his fish. Goto then moves the combat with Ben and Goto both choosing not to use their floating mana. On Goto's end step, Hidden responds with a Cyclonic Rift on the card to finally remove the pesky walker. Hidden then moves to his turn and lets his fish die. He knows it's now or never and gambles for a card. Cal does respond with a mental misstep to try and stop him. This has Hidden debating what to do for a little while before responding. He ends up hard casting a force of negation from his hand. The gamble resolves and Hidden finds a card and randomly discards a go for blood. This does trigger Riel to have him draw an additional card. Hidden then plays an island from his hand and casts an underworld breach. It resolves and Hidden now has to figure out if he can in fact win. He's pretty sure he can as he recasts his Mox Diamond from the graveyard. He discards a flooded strand. Hidden then follows it up with a Lotus Petal. But responding to that, Cal casts a Chain of Vapor to try and bounce the Breach. But Hidden has more free interaction as he casts a Misdirection from hand, exiling a Dig Through Time. This unfortunately was the last piece of interaction the table had. And seeing that Hidden has his Lotus Petal for mana and the Brain Freeze, the table concedes as they know Hidden will be able to recast the Brain Freeze again and again to not only mill himself out, but the table as well. Game review. Well, this certainly was a blast, and it was fun to finally get to play in person again. Again, big shout out to Cal from Playing With Power for letting me hop in the game, and for recording. Hopefully we'll get to play again sometime shortly, so you'll really be able to show me the power of Rashmi. As for the other players, I can't believe Ben was actually able to play Magic after mulliganing down to 3. And he certainly would have been more of a threat if Cal hadn't countered his culling ritual. And last but not least, Goto is impressive as always. Cal and Hidden both had to keep up interaction the entire game for Goto, or he would have had it. And man, did that Karn stop Hidden. Hidden did remark that it was fortunate that Goto didn't attempt to win on that last turn, as Hidden's only real interaction was a Cyclonic Rift, assuming he just recast Goto. If he had, Hidden would have had to use the Rift, and not been able to bounce Karn and go off when he did. But it was a hard-fought match, and thanks for everyone who played it.